And uh, Zachary Smith, I want to thank you for subbing. And, uh, you know, it's so funny because the, the Robinson Robot B9 channel, which, by the way, is another uh, new subscriber. And um, I just got very nostalgic. In fact, I talked about it last week about Lost in Space, and it's been on my mind a lot. And, um, and so we're getting ready for a little bit, I think, some new action going on uh, with our channels of the uh, Royal Order of the Fez and the Network of Evil and perhaps the Aliens. There might be some interplay. So those of you outside might care to, like, check in every now and then. See, there might be some... I think we're going to start doing some videos where there's collaborations. Oh, and I want to I wanna say hello to Only When Provoked, who said, heads up to a collaboration, or, or hey, I'm up for that. And uh, there's different ways of doing collaborations. We could send each other clips uh, via email and then edit it into our own stuff. Or, as in the case of the uh, Kill Kong saga, I think, which what least Delisa Productions ended up calling it, was a um, uh, somebody making a video and then leaving the ending sort of up in the air and then somebody picking up that loop and then carrying it on is one way of doing it. And um, uh, But I've been... I've been thinking about Lost in Space, and there's been some really good... If you look at um, Robot B9's channel, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm too lazy to post the link up, but uh, he's there in my subscriber list somewhere, or you might see his comment on one of my pages. And uh, he made a couple of good... Uh, just doing voiceover of just, just on the cheap, doing a uh, video of Lost in Space and just doing this rant, <laughs> a series of curse words. <laughs> over the clip, which I found fun. I found fun. And uh, tip of the fez to um, to Monk, House of Monk did a, another couple fez nights called Lost in Fez Part One and Part Two. And um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, let's see if there are any other new subscribers. I I did say. Oh, I want to welcome. Did I welcome Nigula? Nigula. So unpolitically correct, but um, but I think you've come up with something there, as far as a, a wonderful new character to uh, incite um, animosity on the YouTubers, and uh, it's all very, very, all very, very strange. Yes, um, there's just this little part of me is just that somebody is gonna call and. <laughs> And when they're going to call, I don't know what's going to happen. Did I ever welcome, I'm looking at my subscriber list and say, Mandy Cohen, which is a, uh, a spoof of, um, of uh, the character from Life of Brian. I think I talked about this person before. I don't know, my memory's so shot. I don't know what I do from Fez Night to Fez Night. But Mandy Cohen, who uh, had a beard photoshopped, and it's the character that plays um, um, in the Life of Brian. Brian's mother. Yeah, I seem to remember talking about this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this may not be the great best Fez night, which is ironic. We call it the Wonder of Fez. It's like, wonder why people watch this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make a joke there. Uh. And um, it's so funny how, how the, um, the subscriber list gets scrambled. It's random. Now I see... If I just click on my page, I see my googly side. Oh, let me welcome my googly side. Hey, my googly side, who is this very, like, foxy, foxy blonde ex-marine who is tied in with the alien group. And uh, you're, you're really something. You're a little scary, all dressed in camouflage as you are. The Citizen Kong is somebody that would never quite fit in the military. But there were a couple times when I was being arrested by the police who... Who this one gentleman who happened to be an ex-Marine said, Oh, no, I think you would have made a good Marine. <laughs> really, me? <laughs> I've had that said to me twice by this old World War II vet. And he was talking to me and I was sharing stuff with him. He said, No, I think you would have made a good Marine. I don't know why these people say that. It must be like the highest compliment, you know, in their mind. But I, I, I don't know. <sighs> You know, as far as a modern Marine, maybe like World War II Marine, I might have been able to slip through. Not to say that there's anything lesser about them, but I understand things were different then, you know, because they were drafted. Um, you know, I might, I might have been able to suck it up and just somehow make it through. I don't know. 
But um, anyway, my googly side, and she's part of the, uh, she's trying to show her, uh, her softer, funnier side. It says uh, here, woman marine, retired, try not to be so serious, this is my googly side. Mix of things here, check out playlists and faves to see. So uh, I want to welcome uh, my googly side. And uh, yeah, I guess it's sort of working out in a strange way of welcoming new subscribers. Did I ever welcome Mr. Shawnee too? I think I did. And, and Aunt P. And look up there in front, Delphic Gobshite. I think it's some, there must be some sort of a synchronicity in the cosmos there. Uh, I have to say that she's very, very witty. And uh, she might be the most unattractive woman on the planet. She may not even be a woman. But I have to say, she has a real wonderful turn of phrase. She can compose these wonderful poems and has a wonderful sense of humor. And uh, that's one of the things that I appreciate in uh, people that I know, when they have a wonderful sense of humor. And it's sort of an off-kilter sense of humor. Wow, you know, I didn't have any dinner. I'm really buzzed already. And I'm, I'm hardly, hardly into the show. In fact, I don't know if there's a way to keep track. Let me see. Can I see my like film counter here? I'm going to look here. How far am I into this? Oh, there's nothing that tells me that. <laughs> I've completely lost count. Uh, maybe there's a display thing? This is awful. I've never done this on, on Fez Night to wonder what, how far into the show am I in. Must have been the empty stomach and the, and the combination of carbon monoxide fumes entering the, uh, the Citizen Kong Island Cave. Hey, Mo, Mo Girl had this great thing. She named it the Mo Cave, and I, she, she took it before me, but I'd like to say that my place is like a cave. All right, cheers. As I get more inebriated on one of the most, probably the most babbling incoherently Fez Nights yet, Let me go to my page, excuse me, and for those of you that don't get Faz Knight, right here I see um, on, the com on the comments page, Zezo de Grimstone, am I saying that right, has left a comment, I need Faz Knight like a spider needs a fly. <laughs> And these are the little things. When I don't feel like doing Fez Night, that urges me on. Because frankly, I really didn't feel like doing a Fez Night. I'm, I hope you, all of you had a great 4th of July. Mine wasn't so great. It got a little bit better later. But um, um, my relationship with a woman that should not be named, there's real ups and downs. But there's something about that woman that I truly admire. But we're like... We're like, what would you say, like um, um, oil and water, I guess? Or we're just polar opposites in some ways? It's a very strange relationship. And, um, and 4th of July, there was a, it was a bumpy evening.